In the first video about paracetamol, we're going to talk about paracetamol metabolism in the context of overdose. So first we'll just mention normal paracetamol metabolism, which occurs in the liver. And it occurs by two main processes, glucuronidation, which is mostly the process involved, and sulfation, which is maybe a third of the metabolism. And the metabolites are then excreted in the urine. Now, in an overdose, we also get processing by cytochrome P450 enzymes, and that produces a harmful metabolite called NAPQI, or NAPQI, or NAPQI. And in normal metabolism, you do get a bit of NAPQI. You get about 5 or 10% of, of paracetamol metabolized to it. But in overdose, you get substantially more. Now, NAPQI is then conjugated with glutathione in the liver, uh, which makes, again, a harmless conjugate that can be excreted in the urine. But what happens when you start to deplete your stores of glutathione? What does the NAPQI bind to then? Well, once you get down to about 30% of your remaining glutathione stores in the liver, we think that the NAPQI probably bonds to the hepatocytes themselves and starts to cause cellular damage. And that is the mechanism by which paracetamol overdose can cause liver failure.